Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application Video Tutorial Series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This is tutorial number five in the series and it will show you how to undertake a follow-up survey at a site where you've already undertaken a baseline survey previously. So in this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to select the existing survey segment, uh, how to then do the repeat estuary remediation survey and update the observations in survey one, two, three, and how to add additional photo monitoring points and near bank channel depth measurements and selecting the appropriate survey type in survey one, two, three there as well. Let's get started by logging into Esri Field Maps using your login credentials. And I'm going to start here on an existing survey segment that has a number of depth recordings and existing uh, photos. So we're going to choose Repeat Estuary Remediation Survey, and that will take us to Survey 123. Survey 123 will automatically open in the Repeat Survey section, and you can see it pre populates the survey ID. Uh, you can select the repeat survey number one if it's the first repeat and go on and fill in the details as required. Uh, if you see project objectives there, you can fill those out again for this survey uh, to see if there's been any change since the last survey and the works type will be automatically pre-populated as well. If you enter that works type that's already there, Oyster Shell Reef, uh, you can then answer all those questions and that will log the new set of answers uh, for the date that you've done this survey. Click the little uh, tick to submit and that will allow you to uh, update that to the cloud. Okay, let's have a go at doing a repeat photo point. So you hit monitoring photo point survey, it'll open survey one, two, three, and you change the survey type to repeat survey number one. You can then take the photo, you can also rename that photo, it'll date the photo and you can submit it using the little tick button and return to field maps again. Following the same method, we can do a repeat near bank channel depth survey. So it'll again open up survey one, two, three for you. It'll populate the segment ID. You can enter your depths that you've recorded and you can change the survey type to base uh, from baseline to repeat survey one. You can also, if you like, uh, make it update an existing point. So if we want to update point five, we would do that and then hit the tick to submit. Okay. So that shows you how to do a repeat survey. So congratulations, you've now finished uh, tutorial five and the next tutorial is how to access your data on the web app and to produce monitoring reports.